These days, it seems to be getting more and more rare to be truly inspired by someone. Even more rare is when that inspiration comes in the form of a 10-year-old girl. I want to take a couple minutes to share with you guys the story of Miss Kira Landers. So here we are at the first Cats Midwest Tournament on Kent Lake, and we've got a record young angler, Kira, that's 10 years old, and uh, she's going to be competing in the social division. What's your name? Kira. Kira? How long have you been fishing? You know, for a long time? Yeah? Since you were five? And how old are you now? Ten. Ten? Ten years old. You know, I think you're the youngest competitive kayak angler maybe ever. I, mean, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I think you're going to win it? Well, good luck tomorrow. You do good. I'm going to be rooting for you. Spank all these boys. The boys are always winning. I think it's time for a girl to win. Jeff Sherwood's doing a little something special for her. Yeah, I, I was so impressed that we have a girl, uh, 10 years old, that's that's such a passionate. But I told her I'm personally going to give her $10 for every single pro that she beats. Now there's 35 pros, so I got 350 bucks that I might end up having to pay uh, for her college fund. But it would be the best check that I've ever written in my life to have a girl that age uh, beat all these guys on the water uh, on our first event, so I'm really excited for it. Absolutely. I told her I was rooting for her. She showed me a picture of a bass that was bigger than anything I've caught the last three days. I've been here, so it was a little hit to my that's, ego. That's not that big of a challenge. Hey, easy, 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 easy. It's new water. It's new water. But no, her dad actually told me that um, he was big on making her earn this, so she was required to learn all the rules, study bass behavior over the winter, um, she had to be able to paddle her, own, paddle her own kayak. I mean, all these things, he did not make it easy for her. So uh, she's been preparing for this for this winter. So you might be out 350 bucks. That's tomorrow. awesome. <laughs> that would be the best check I ever wrote. Kira, good luck tomorrow. I hope you crush them. Uh, I gave her some stuff. She said her favorite way to fish is drop shot. That's what she told me. It's awesome. not an That's easy, great. I mean, she's not just casting and reeling. No, she's absolutely. an angler. Yeah, her favorite tactic at 10 year olds is drop shot. I, yeah. learned, I learned it about three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you might be out some money tomorrow. It's good luck. Awesome. Good luck, Kira. Yeah. <laughs> well, sure enough, we watched all day as Kira climbed to the top of the social division on the iAngler live leaderboard. I thought it was so impressive at 10 that a father and daughter were so passionate about the sport that I opened my big mouth and said I would give her $10 for every pro that she beat. I'm going to need a place to stay uh, <laughs> because she did really well. <laughs> First place in the social division with 66 and 3 quarter inches was our youngest competitor, <laughs> Kira Landers. So after I knew that I was getting beat out of a bunch of money today, I called our company and I said, we have a 10 year old angler here and I'm really impressed. And they said, well, we need to get her on our pro staff. So we're gonna give you a boat to fish out of and all the gear that you need to fish out of. So fast forward a month after Kira's big win and I'm back in Michigan. I just had to find out if this girl was the real deal. So Jeff arranged for us to hit the water with Kira and her dad, Zach. So this right here is the Hobie Sport that Kira has now for being on the Summit Sports team after she won the social division at the uh, Cats Kent Lake event. Well, we're here on Lake Sherwood and we're gonna get out and see if we can't catch a few bass. You ready to get out there? Yeah, nice. This girl blew my expectations out of the water. Kira landed the first fish of the day on a topwater popper on her very first cast. Just seconds after I tried explaining to her that she wasn't going to catch a fish on topwater at noon in the middle of the summer. You can, do that. You can try the popper, but you probably have more luck on the Ned, Ned rig. Oh, fish on first cast! That was the last tip that I tried to give her. First cast with the topwater. <laughs> what? What? You're doing great. Yeah, that's a good one too. Pull it up, pull it up. Nice. Great job, Kira. First cast 
on a top water. We were all telling you not to throw top water. <laughs> Don't throw top water. You won't and get the awesome first time. pop, I watched the fish just annihilate it. Nice fish. Woohoo! Kier Landers putting on a clinic, showing these grown men how it's done. Woohoo! She continued catching fish after fish on topwater poppers and Ned rigs, and by the end of the day, she had over a dozen bass, more than any of the rest of us. Fish, oh! Nice. Good fish. No, I almost caught one from right here. Right there, you see it? Cut them on top water, cut them on the Ned rig. Nice. Another good one. Killing it, Kira. I can't keep up. How many is that today? Lost count? <laughs> Took a little lesson from uh, my friend Kira here, tied on the popper, and sure enough, that's two cats in a row I got a bit. Getting taught how to bass fish by an 11 year old. I've basically just been throwing whatever Kira's been throwing. He is that. Ow! Might be the biggest one of the day. Oh yeah, it's good. In a day and age where kids are being raised by rap music, playstations, and mindless TV shows, Kira's a breath of fresh air and a shining example of what the next generation could look like with the right opportunities and the right parenting. For all the kids out there watching, you're never too young to start following your dreams. If you're willing to work hard for it, you can achieve anything. And if anyone ever tries to tell you otherwise, just tell them the story about Miss Kira Landers. You want rice? You want rice? <laughs> hey. Yeah. Oh, cut me off like that? <laughs> you win, you win. Too fast in that thing. She just came up behind me, grabbed the back, my back handle, yanked me back and flew past me. <laughs> nice move. That was pretty slick, that was pretty slick. She got some tricks up her sleeve. <laughs>